Welcome to the Cuckmere Accessible Audio Trail at Seven Sisters Country Park. This trail follows the Cuckmere Miles Without Styles route along flat concrete, gravel and grass paths. This is the second bench in this audio trail. If you missed bench one, follow the path back towards the visitor centre to the bench on the left in the grassy area near the overflow car park. As you sit on this bench, to your right in the distance, behind the visitor centre, tumbling down the hill into the valley, are the trees of Friston Forest. Directly behind you is a vertical bank that leads up to the chalk grassland above. In front of you, you may notice the gentle lapping of the waters of the meanders on the sandy path. The meanders were once part of the Cuckmere River and were created by the river itself as it flowed sinuously across the land here. Take a moment to breathe in the fresh air, tune into the sounds that surround you and consider the wonders we may find within this landscape. A cackle from the distant trees tells you it's breeding season for the little egrets. Spring is here and they build their nests in the trees of Friston Forest, bright dots of white in the wash of spring green trees. In the autumn, many of these birds have moved on, although some remain resident here, and the beech trees become a patchwork of oranges, golds and reds with the turning of the leaves. Winter arrives, and with it a cacophony of Canada geese honking and grunting as they flock in the fields. Many of these geese live here all year round, but in the winter hundreds more join them from the north, and the noise is unmistakable. Notice their black heads, complete with white chin strap, black necks and brown and beige feathered bodies, as they fly in V-shaped schemes across the park. In front of you are the meanders, where swans arch their necks and cup their wings above their backs in a clam shape and drift across the gently rippling water. On the far right-hand bend of the meanders stands a flight of cormorants, wings outstretched, facing the south towards the sun, which is drying their jet black feathers. In the autumn, You'll find little greaves as small as mallard ducklings and with similar speckled brown feathers, fluffy rears, black heads and backs and a flash of white under their necks. They dart and dive for their dinner. Their rapid fire whistles and clicks announce their presence on the meanders. Notice the sound of the water lapping against the path, the footsteps in front of you or behind you as people walk along the path, leaving foot and paw prints in the mud at the water's edge. Above you, in the spring, you may notice the rooks shouting at mewing buzzards as they try to defend their nests against these hawks. The black rooks are half the size of the buzzard, which has a wingspan of over a metre and a finely barred fanned tail. Behind you, in the spring and summer, you may still be able to hear the bees in the sandbank you passed on the way here, and at night, the crickets stridulate, chirping and singing way past dusk. From here, as you continue along the Miles Without Styles route towards the coast, you will pass the saltings. Here, when the tide is out, it reveals a grid formation in the silt, indicating a possible salt turn, where, during the medieval period, it is possible that seawater was reduced to produce salt. To listen to Bench 3, make your way along the trail to where the path turns off to the left or continues through a gate to the sea. Take the left path and follow it down approximately 200 metres to the bench there and scan the QR or NFC codes to explore the park at night.